Hey guys, it's Lee, and I am finally back to doing some acrylic pour painting. The paintings I'm going to be focusing on this go around are for my office, so the colors are going to all be the same until I get a few that I really, really like. This is a 12 by 12 canvas, and my office is very pale gray with white trim, and then I want to bring in some pinks and blues. So this first one I'm going to do is going to be a bottle bottom pour, and I know you've seen me do these a few times, but I really want one in my office. So let me go over the colors. So I have Artist Loft Phthalo, it's hard to say, Phthalo Blue, Phthalo Blue. I have Artist Loft's Cerulean Blue. This is Craft Smart Blue Metallic. Deco Art Brilliant Blue, and I got this at the Dollar Tree. Craft Smart Rose. This is also a metallic. Craft Smart, oops, Craft Smart Light Pink. Oops. This silver is a mix of three different silvers because I screwed up and made it way too thin. One of them has glitter in it, and then the other two, I don't even know what they're called, but it's a glittery metallic silver. This gray I made with Artist Loft Flow, Flow Acrylic White and just a few drops of black, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, and my white is Artist, Loft, Artist Loft's Flow Acrylic. I don't really have a recipe for these because I'm still trying to figure that out myself. I do have paint. Floetrol and Mod Podge gloss in each with some water. So I have my bottle bottom and this came off of a bottle of Propel. So I'm going to start off by putting a little bit of the white on the corners. I should have put the white in a smaller cup I think. I'm going to speed this part up because I feel like it would be pretty boring in real time watching me just pour paints onto a canvas. So, here we go. Okay, so as you can see, either my table isn't level, something isn't level, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up now. Pull it back this way a little bit. so it doesn't 
roll over itself. So now I'm going to go from the inside out for each of the petals. And now I'm going to tilt. Wish me luck. forgot to mention that there is no silicone in any of this paint. I'm going to torch it and get all the air bubbles out. All right, you know, I'm not sure how I feel about all this pink up here. I think I'm gonna tilt that way to get a tiny bit of the pink off. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but that's what I'm doing. and then bring it back this way. All right, I think I like that better. Okay, I'm gonna take you down for a close-up. All right, I turned off the overhead light, so hopefully you can see it a little bit better. I really like this. I was hoping for a little more gray. I should have put more gray in it, but see what happens when it dries and if it's not what I want I'll just make another one all right I'll be back to show you what it looks like once it's dry okay so it's a few days later and the painting is dry and I love it can you see the sheen on it I love this it turned out so pretty I am actually going to let this dry a little bit more, or cure actually, before I put a spray sealer on it. That is if I put a spray sealer on it. I haven't decided yet, but I love this. I'm gonna take you down for a close up now. Sorry for the shadows, but the best I could do right now for filming space. I love the way this turned out, and I think it will be beautiful in my office upstairs. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified every time I upload new videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.